Good morning to you, Joyce. It is a beautiful morning on the water. The race just started. 44 teams either taking a man-powered or wind-powered vessel to Alaska. Guys, this is 750 miles to the north. Woo! And the seas right now, not too terrible. Um, so like I said, beautiful weather. This is the longest human wind and or human powered race in North America, by the way. It started in 2015 and includes a wide array of boats from anything like a catamaran. One guy is on a paddleboard. I'm not even kidding. Well, during the journey, racers cannot get any help. Uh, there are two stages. The first is the Proving Ground, which takes you to Victoria, B.C. That's only 40 miles away. That's where the racers are going tonight. They'll stay there for a day or two. Then it's to Ketchikan, Alaska. That is 710 miles from B.C. Now, one of the founders tells us the race was dreamed up over some beers in a tent and created to inspire people to adventure. If you walk down to the docks, you'll see a boat that costs a quarter million dollars before you even put a sail on it. You'll next to a boat that someone bought off a Craigslist. They're not disappointed that they're racing next to this, this super fast elite boat because they're there for similar yet different reasons. So the other reason he said he wanted to create this race is for people who are not professional sailors. So these folks, a lot of these people are hobby sailors. However, they are vetted by an anonymous vetting team to make sure that they are seaworthy. So we have been following a team called Sail Like a Girl. It's an all women sailing team. They won last year. Hope, will they win again this year? We'll see. So we are coming up in the next half hour. We're gonna be back out here on the water, chasing the leaders, and we'll introduce you to the team that sails like a girl. I'm Amity Adrisi, live right outside Port Townsend on the water. Back to you in studio.